choosing. When I was little, I went to buy some clothes with my mummy. Willie came too. I can see some lovely dresses in here. Mummy said I needed a new dress and a new pair of shoes. At the dress shop, there were lots of dresses to choose from. I chose a sparkly dress. Mummy said it was very pretty for a party. But it's more pretty for a party? Mummy said I need a dress for every day to play in. Mummy showed me a red dress with pockets. I tried my new red dress. Yes, I said. I liked my new red dress. I like choosing. The next shop that we went to had a lift made of glass. I can see some pretty dresses. It was like flying. At the top of the lift we met Daddy. Hi Tig, a lovely new dress. Daddy liked my new dress. Okay then, do a fashion show. Uh -huh. Daddy bought new clothes too. You were quick choosing, said Mummy. You were very quick choosing all of that. Yeah, the man in the shop helped me. It was easy. Daddy said the man in the shop helped him choose. Let's go get the shoes. See you later. Right. Here we are. Ooh, look at, at the shoe shop. They had lots of shoes. Hi there. Hi. I liked all of the shoes. So if you want to pop your foot in. The lady had a special measuring machine for feet. The lady said my feet were growing. I couldn't see them growing. The lady said, what colour shoes do you like? Blue, I said. Then I saw a red shoe. I want the red shoe, I said. I tried in the red shoe. So they both fit, but what ones do you like? Which shoe do you like, said the lady. Red and blue. You have to choose one colour shoe or the other. I wanted both shoes. One red, one blue. Mummy said, why don't you choose blue shoes to go with your new red dress? Well, why don't you have a wee think? Both, I said. Hey, Tig, choosing can be hard. Do I have this one or do I have that one? Or do I have both? Hmm. One blue shoe and one red shoe looks fun. But when you buy shoes, you buy them in pairs. Two shoes together, two shoes that match, two shoes the same colour. So you have to choose. Two blue shoes or two red shoes. Hmm. Hey, Tig. It's difficult, isn't it? Sometimes when you are choosing, you need a bit of help. Your daddy had the man in the shop to help him choose, but you have your mummy to help you choose. Mummy said blue shoes will look good with your red dress. Well, you like blue and red together, so why not choose the blue shoes for your red dress? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I like blue and red together. I'll choose the blue shoes to go with my red dress. Good choice. The lady put my old shoes in a box. When the lady saw Willie, she nearly dropped the box. It's already a toy spider. Trying really hard. On my way home, I played no stepping on the pavement crack in my new blue shoes. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were three. The dog. When I was little, my granny got a new dog. I went to visit my granny and her new dog with my daddy. Willy came too. In the park, on the way to granny, we saw lots of dogs. I wanted to play with the dogs. Can we play with the dogs? No, we don't know the dogs. Daddy said no. She said we should leave the dogs we don't know alone. 
I had fun just watching the dogs. Granny's dog was called Herbie. Hello! You come and see. I asked to see Herbie. That's Herbie. He's in the kitchen having breakfast. Granny said we should leave Herbie alone when he was eating. We just watch. Daddy was looking in a cupboard. Daddy was trying to find a dog bed for Herbie to sleep in. Daddy found his old drum set. I made lots of noise on Daddy's drums. Then I heard another noise. Oh, 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 oh. Shh, Tink. Herbie doesn't like the noise. Herbie was barking in a rage. I didn't like Herbie barking. Daddy found his old space hopper. The hopper was fun. I bounced around the garden. Come on, Herbie. Let's see what's happening. Come on. I bounced up to Herbie. Herbie barked. Herbie looked scary. I didn't like Herbie. Listen, Tig, I think I'd better take him back inside. He's getting too excited. Granny took Herbie back inside. Here's one bed for Herbie. Daddy found a bed for Herbie. Do you want to come for a walk with Herbie? No. No, I said. I didn't like dogs. OK. Hey, Tig, you don't like Herbie because you don't know Herbie. Ruff. You need to get to know Herbie in just the same way Herbie needs to get to know you. Ruff. So what does Herbie like and what does Herbie not like? Granny says Herbie likes to eat in peace. When you did your drumming, you found out that Herbie doesn't like loud bangs. When you bounced up to Herbie on the space hopper, you found out that Herbie gets frightened easily. He's like most dogs. And Herbie's barking is his way of telling you what he's feeling. Ruff, ruff, woof, woof. So when you meet Herbie again, be very quiet and still. Don't touch Herbie until Granny says you can. That way, you'll get to know Herbie. Yes, I thought. I want to get to know Herbie. I want to like Herbie. Uh, can I see Herbie? Yeah, come on. I'll be very quiet. What a great girl. Granny was getting Herbie ready for his walk. I was very quiet and still. That's a good girl. Granny said I could stroke Herbie gently. That's it. Now, do you want to take him out? Take to the we took Herbie to the park. Oh, I like getting to know Herbie. Oh, I'm not sure if he likes my toy spider yet. It's only my toy spider. I like Herbie. And I love Willie. We've been guests since we were here. Bus ride. When I was little, my daddy took me to fly my kite. Is that the bus? Wait for the door to open. We went on a bus. The bus ride was fun. Can we get a two to the park, please? Daddy gave me the ticket to hold. Thank you. Well, we came through. We sat on the chair. And Willie looked out of the window. When we got to a hilly bit, Daddy pressed the bell and the bus stopped. Bye. Thank you. Daddy said thank you. That's a good girl. What a good girl you are too. I said bye. thank you and bye bye. Whoosh! Up on the hill, Daddy and me flew my kite. You flew my kite in lots of different ways. Sometimes I ran, sometimes Daddy ran, sometimes we both ran. 
to fly in the kite. I was tired. We waited for the bus home. When the bus arrived, a man took so long. I ran in front of him. Take, said Daddy. Wait your turn. Uh, two, please. I took the ticket. Take, said Daddy. Don't snatch. Sorry. Shh, said Daddy. Sit down, said Daddy. No feet on the seat. Daddy was getting really grumpy. A lady kept staring at me. I didn't like the lady staring at me. Tank, don't be so rude. I was tired and bored. Tank. Daddy was grumpy. Just in front of me was the bus bell. Hmm, I thought. Tank, did you press the bell? Tank, no! Said Daddy. Daddy was cross. Who rang the bell? It, it, it was us. We're, we're just coming. Come on, we're not going to have to go off the bus now. Get Wooly. Sorry, driver. Thank you, said Daddy, to the driver. We're going to have to walk home. But I'm tired. Well, we'll have to wait for the next bus, OK? Horrid, Daddy. Just sit on that. Put your wee bottom on that, OK? OK. I was tired. Hey, Tig, I know you feel tired, but Daddy's not horrid. Daddy's tired too. But when Daddy's tired, he still says thank you to the bus driver. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't throw his bus ticket all over the bus. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't make a face to strangers. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you stop caring. When you feel tired, you can still be nice to people and make sure that whatever you do doesn't upset them. Ting! Hey and Tig, you pressed the bus bell, not Daddy. And that's why you're waiting for another bus. Daddy cares about you and you care about Daddy. So tell him. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I love my Daddy. I said sorry to Daddy. Sorry, Dad. Oh, thank you, Tig. That's OK. Open sesame. <laughs> Come on, Tig. When the next bus came, I said thank you to the bus driver. Thank you. Oh, thanks, driver. When a lady smiled at me, I smiled at her. I showed her Willy. It's only a toy spider. I like smiles. I like being me. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were me. Fussy. Morning, Tig. Daddy, where's Mummy? When I was little, my Mummy went away to look after Grandad. I'm here to look after you and Willy, said Daddy. Let's get you dressed. Daddy just dumped my clothes on the bed. I like my clothes laid out like a scarecrow, I said. Let's get you dressed. When I got dressed, Daddy got it all wrong. Trousers. Daddy forgot my socks. Went on before my trousers. I got socks on I had to get dressed all over again. Arms, rid of those arms. Right. And there's Willie. Come on, let's go through and have some breakfast. Come on, and get your breakfast. At breakfast, Daddy poured my Aussie flakes into a mountain. Daddy, I don't want to add a mountain flat. All right, will you? I like my Aussie flakes poured flat. Right, take here's your milk. Then Daddy poured milk from the edges instead of the middle. Daddy, not from the sides in the middle. Well, can you make a hole for it? Daddy gave me the wrong spoon. Daddy, I want my special spoon. Oh, OK. Daddy's rubbish, isn't he? You get stuck in. After breakfast, Daddy wanted to play with my bricks. I didn't like Daddy playing with my bricks. Daddy, I don't know the way I do it. 
Is that the way you're meant to do it? You got all the colours and shapes the wrong way round. I sat in my little house. After a big bit, Daddy said, Come on, Tig, we're going indoor sledging. Do some indoor sledging? Yay! Look, I've got your snowsuit and I've got your wellies. Come on then. Daddy had my waterproofs and my Wellington. When we arrived at the sledging, I was hungry. So Daddy took me for some lunch. I didn't like my lunch. My peas were next to my fish and not by my potatoes. I just ate the potatoes. The indoor sledging was inside. Daddy wanted me to put on my waterproofs. We need to get changed. No, I said. I wear my waterproofs outside, oh not inside. We can't go sledging then, said Daddy. Everything was wrong today. Nothing was just how I like it. Hey, Tig. Always doing things in exactly the same way makes you feel safe and happy. But no one can know exactly how you like things to be done because everyone is different. Some things are important to one person, but not to another. No need to be fussy. Which sock goes on first or where the peas go on your plate doesn't matter. Putting on your waterproofs inside for a change won't spoil your day. Whee! It'll mean you can go inside sledging! Go for it, Tig! Stop fussing and have fun! Yes, I thought. There's no fun fussing. Daddy, can I put my wet... I like doing things differently today with my daddy. What do we say? One, two, three, let go! Whoa. We had fun inside, indoor sledging in my waterproofs. When a lady saw Willie on my sledge, she nearly fell over. I don't like being fussy. I like having fun with everyone. And I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Thunder! When I was little, I liked big loud noises. Willie liked big loud noises too. Some big loud noises made me laugh. Some big loud noises made me jump. Some big loud noises made me shout at them. I like making big loud noises too. But one noise I didn't like was thunder. Mummy, Daddy. Thunder scares me. No one could stop thunder. Sorry, Not even Daddy. You're quite safe. Mm. One day, Daddy took me and my friend Timmy yeah, yeah. to play in the park. It's looking a wee bit stormy. Thunderstorm? Maybe a thunderstorm. I didn't yeah, like thunder. Come on, said Daddy. On, then, we'll go ten pin bowling instead. I forgot about thunder. Put them here. I never seen yeah. ten pin bowling before. Right. There were lots of big loud noises at ten pin bowling. I liked the noises. It was exciting. Do you know who's winning? The ten pin bowling was a game. When the ball got to the end of the lane. It hit the pin with a big, right, loud big clatter. Watch me. The more pins that fell over, the bigger and louder the clatter. If you knocked over all the pins, it was a strike. It was the biggest clatter ever. We all played together, but the ball was heavy. So Daddy got a special rolling machine just for me. See. We took see turns to roll Let's the ball Come on. and see how many pins we could knock oh, over. Sometimes none. Sometimes one. Sometimes lots. And push it. 
We never knew how many pins were going to fall over. When Daddy got a strike, we cheered. Ten pins clattering over. Hooray! Ten pin bowling was so much fun. When I went home, I forgot the stormy weather. I played ten pin bowling before bed. That night, I woke up. There was a big, clattering bang. I thought I was at the ten pin bowling. I wasn't. It was thunder. I was scared. I hid under the bedclothes and cuddled Wooly. Hey, Teak, no one likes thunder. Thunder can be scary. You never know when the bang will come next or how loud and clattery it will be. When you don't like something, think of something you do like. Tim Pin Bowling! Wait for the flash, roll the ball, and see how big the clatter will be. Flash! Roll the ball and clatter! I think we knocked over about five pins then. Flash! Roll the ball! And... Clatter! That was a strike! Ten pins! Hooray! So go for it, Tig! See how loud the next bang will be! Yes, I thought! Thunder is scary, but not quite so scary when you have fun with the bangs! You okay, Tig? Daddy came running into my bedroom. He thought it was funny that I was playing ten pin bowling with thunder. Oh, oh, oh. And that's the I don't like thunder, but I like ten pin bowling. And I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were we. Take here we are. Panda. When I was little, my daddy took me to see the animals at the zoo. I wanted to see a panda. Right, Tig. This is where we get the safari bus. We're going to have to wait for a bit. We Let's had to wait for a special we'll bus back. to see the animals. Look at all the toy we waited animals. in a little shop. Do you know what? Can you name there are lots of toy animals in the shop. I didn't want a toy animal. I have Willy. Let's go and see what's then right I saw some pandas. Wow. Daddy, can I get a panda? Can I have a toy panda, Daddy? I'm going to go and see a real panda. Please, Daddy. No, Tig, said Daddy. I was grumpy. Come on, said Daddy. Here's the bus. Let's go and wait in the bus now. I think it's just coming. Yep. The bus was all stripy, but I didn't want to go in the stripy bus. I wanted a panda. I was grumpy. We saw lots of different animals. Wallabies, pink flamingos, an African wild dog. We saw a chimp. Up and up the hill we went. We saw a cow. Tammy was excited. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. When we got off the bus, we saw a tiger. We saw a panther. We saw a big lion. We saw a leopard, but Daddy didn't see. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. We've got to play. We went over a wooden bridge. This is us walking through. To a little hut. Daddy didn't look at me. Daddy looked at zebras. This is just like Africa, said Daddy. Tig, it's just like the African plains. I was grumpy. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when you want something and you can't have it. It can make you feel grumpy. But hey, Tig, being grumpy can stop you enjoying what you do have. Whee! Being grumpy stops you seeing all the amazing things around you. The real animals that you've never seen before. The zebras. 
The flamingos! Whee! The lions! The tigers! Whee! And the pandas! Not toy pandas, but real pandas. So go for it, Tig. Have a look at the real pandas. And hey, Tig, if you want a cuddly toy, you've always got me. Yes, I thought. I don't want to be grumpy. Yes, Tig. Daddy, I'm sorry. I haven't got a toy panda, but I'm going to see a real panda. Is this where the pandas are? I like seeing the panda. The panda eats a lot of food. When the panda saw Willy, he just looked. It's only a toy spy that's some tea. Then the panda went to sleep. Always go back to sleep. Night night. At the shop, right. Daddy said, Do you want here. a toy panda now, Tig? No, I said. I've seen a What's real that? panda. But my ears might get cold. I want earmuffs. Can I please have panda earmuffs instead? I like the real panda. I like real animals. It's good fun, wasn't it? I love Willie. 